Right, hi guys, it's Natalie again. Uh, as you can see and hear, um, I'm not that well. And that's because Sunday was, wow, an epic trip. If you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you can see. I don't know yet how to put it on um, YouTube, but I'm going to learn so I can show some of you guys on YouTube as well, the pictures and the videos when me and my friends went down to Bromley to watch Man United Ladies versus Crystal Palace. It was a 5-0 victory. Green scored two. The third goal was absolutely amazing. One of the best goals I've seen all season. You know, Greenwood passed it to her from the corner. She's on the edge of the box. She dinked it past one player and just curled it and it pinged. I could hear it from where I was standing. But if you watch on Twitter, there's um you can hear it from the camera on that side. It goes bing and it just goes in. It's just beautiful. But R not scored two as well. Um well about the game. Five nil sounds like, you know, we destroyed them. And second half, it was the Man United that I know and love that we were watching all season, but First half, wow, we were all over the place. They were just pressing us, and we didn't know what to do. We were at sixes and sevens. Shout out to Skipper Greenwood. She steadied the ship. But I looked at that midfield, and I called it that midfield. I said, we need Zellum, we need Green, and Devlin, and that is pure attacking. Those three just, all they know is about getting the ball and going forward and playing the through balls and playing balls over the top. But what I was surprised about is Gaffer, she dropped Sixworth and Lauren James. I mean, yeah, fair enough. You know, Arnott needs a start. Tooney needs some games. I think with Tooney playing in the internationals, I think it got to her this game. I don't know what it was, but she wasn't at her best. She missed an open, pretty much an open goal. The Palace fans were fierce, you know, and I feel like that got to us as well. Obviously, it started, we were the Barmy Army, we were going on, we were singing from the start. It was it was amazing, but the Palace fans gave it back to us and, oh, you know, we support our local team, all that kind of banter. It was, it was hilarious. I was worried going into the, to the half-time that they were going to, because I was giving it them, I was thinking, but they were like, there's our singer, and they were nice, and it was kids. But they were proper, you know, when um, there was a free kick in the first half and, and you know, Greenwood played it to Zellum, but she overhit it or Zellum didn't get onto it quick enough, whatever. And they were like, hey, cheering, cheering when um, every time cheering and cheering and that um, every time Chamberlain like didn't get the ball or missed it or when they were pressing, they were proper behind their team. That's proper support. Now we've done. I've only done Villa away this season, but Villa they had their drum. They were all right. It, there was no real. That was proper support from them Palace fans. Shout out to them. I mean, I know they're upset that they they thought you know they should have had a penalty. Potentially they should have, but it's a poor standard of referee, and it's not you know any of this bias that they're going on about. But that's separate. Um, you know, they were on us. Palace, they were a really good team. I'm surprised they're so far down. If they get that support every week, then they'll be banging up that table. You know, they're a good side. You know, there's a few times there was a clearance, and we just did look all over the place a bit. It, is, it was surprising because I thought Palace bottom, but definitely that atmosphere. The girls, maybe I don't know. Greenwood stepped up, but some of them were under pressure. Greenwood really, like, she, like, galvanised it. It reminded me of Roy Keane, like, and I know it's different, but away to Juventus, he's the one who stepped up, captain, got a captain's brilliant performance in. And that's what um, Greenwood did. You know, she made the cross for the second, and once we got that second, that was it. It was finished. It was, you know... I think Siggy Sixworth came coming on over tune. She 
was able to hold up the ball more when they were playing ball. She was running onto them. She was pressing those defenders. And that's what they didn't have really in the first half. You know, I thought Hansen for the first goal, really good. You know, she pressed the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper came out. She beat her. She played it through to Arna. And Arna's good like that. She will just run onto the ball, go cross in the box, go. She's like a poacher. But in terms of hold up play, it wasn't for them. Six worth, six worth far number nine for a reason, you know. And that's why I think we need another one for WLS because I love Siggy. She's meant to crash them through. But if we're gonna rest Siggy, or if we're gonna rotate, there needs to be another striker. I think. I mean, people might say to me, Hanson, or not. Yeah, it's good, but we need someone like. Yes, who's going to hold the ball up? But, you know, when once Jess got on that field and was holding the ball up or was chasing on those other balls, that midfield were able to push forward and that's when we saw the class green. She's got her, like I thought. I know uh, clinical green was only, uh, she knew, but that third goal, like I said, I've already described it, it was amazing. And, it was a through ball from Smith for the fifth, but you know, that's when she was in there around. I don't really love Katie Zellen, but for me, she was playing that deep role, and it's good when you're dictating the play, but I think you need like a, a sort of someone who's going to break it up, and Katie, she could keep it, she can pass it, no, but I'm worried for her when you get that high press and they're trying to bully her off the ball. and Devlin, she's got the, the fire in her, so, but I think we just need someone who's going to break up play, basically, and I'd have Zellin further forward, I think that's where she's best, she scored the goal to make it 3-0, to make it 1-0, sorry, against Charlton, so, and that was a bang, through ball from Skip, bang, that's where you want it on the edge of that box, that's where Green was, so that's why Green got her goals. But I'd play Zellin further forward. I hope everyone turns up and you've got Janice or can do to Lee on Sunday. Or even if you're watching MUTV and just support the girls, then they'd really appreciate it from everyone in the stadium and everyone on Twitter and Facebook and everything, you know. We're really looking to change women's football, I'm really enjoying it more than what I expected, I was always going to go and I was always going to go every home game and obviously I did Villa and that was really good but I never thought like I'd enjoy it as much as I have been and it's really making me happy again, making me love football, it's proper, it's like you're standing on terraces, you're singing, everyone's singing, that banter was just mint and it's like I should have been an 80s child mate I just loved it. I was running up and down. It was just fantastic. And that's what I like. I like being that close to the pitch. You make a difference. But anything else you want me to do, guys, let me know. I'm going to keep making these videos. <laughs> Get your friends, family, whatever to subscribe. That's probably what it is on here friends and family. So just keep doing it. Keep posting and keep supporting. And yeah, love you. Over and out.